Yeah, okay. I did put um, I put my DNI panel proposal in the agenda, and it looks like somebody else put in. Is that you? The uh, yeah. tutorial proposal. Okay, perfect. So we can. Um, it's a good idea to create an issue. I'll sh I should do the same. Yeah, I just requested access to that one. I didn't have. Access I, I don't to know it. if it's. <sighs> yeah. oh, why not? Okay, I'll give you access. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, I said that it's. I put it as a share link for everyone. The better. Yeah, that's what that's what I did. Wrong model. Yeah, I sometimes forget. Right. Now you should have access. Put, okay. Cool. Okay. Um. Well, do you want to start with uh, start with the, the panel since since that's on the first on the agenda? Yep, sure. Um, basically, right what I did was I took the panel proposal from um, ChaosCon North America and made just a couple of small updates. So I um, added the bit about how we've been. Um, working on, uh, let's see, working on exploring some of the categories within the working group. And I also um, put in a mention of the ethical considerations. Other than that, it's, it's kind of similar. I cleaned up some of the language, but it's, it's kind of pretty much the same. Okay, yeah, it reads well. Um, okay. One thing we can here? consider for yeah, this one is to actually here. put these props right. so on the uh, on the website because last year or in the la past we only put the titles but I did it. on the chaos website. It, it was in yeah, I agree. We should definitely put the abstracts on the on the website. We should figure out a the best way to do that because I actually had to dig through because I have access to the CFP. I was able to get the um, the talk submission. Since it wasn't, well, because I went, I went, went and looked yeah. for it on the website. I was like, oh yeah, we didn't put those on the website, so I was yeah. able to extract it from the. About the CFP. Yeah. Um, I don't think we use the GitHub handle, so maybe we can remove that. Yeah, so um, I'm not so, asking I'm not less so information is always good. Myself. Yeah. And like also, as as I was copying it over to create my proposal, the. Um, experience level goes well with audience, so maybe move that around mm. to have experience level after audience or before audience. Um, I hate to change it now because we've already gotten some responses. Um, yeah, I but that doesn't change the response we have. The and, uh, G -G uh, The data is going to be the same. The data is going to be the same. Um, <laughs> uh, the reason, I, I, so maybe it was early Google Forms. But early Google Forms tended to, I'm just so afraid that I'm going to break the CFP by moving stuff around while people are submitting things. That I, That's it's fair. Prob it's probably not a big deal. I can probably move it. Uh, let's not touch a running system. Yeah, that's that's my problem. Is once once I have it up and running and we have people submitting to it, I hate to I hate to change things. Um, but let's remember that for next time because I totally agree with both of those pieces of feedback. Um, and again, we still we still only have the four talks submitted, so. Um, it okay. shouldn't be a big deal to submit. Uh, you know, we'll submit the the ones that we have. Um, yep, we'll figure it out, and I'll tweet it again. And I'm keep reminding everyone on the weekly calls. <laughs> <laughs> I know. 
I know. We'll have to. Well, honestly, we always get them at the last minute and we have a little bit of leeway, so we could always extend it um, for a few days if people need some more time. Um, yep. Okay, so with the panel, I think it reads well and I'm good to go as okay. is. Okay. We I'll just get, have um, to figure out who are the panel members, yeah. I think. This is, I'm finishing this up. Yeah, because I think, um, yeah. assuming that Emma can come, um, Emma would be great on the panel. Um, Daniel, I'm assuming, will be on the panel. And then, um, yeah, we'll have to look and see who else, who else is coming that we can convince to, to join. Yeah, that is also something we can figure yeah, out once we right. get registrations. Mm -hmm. just and see who has signed up. Tighter. Yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. We'll co opt someone who already is coming to be on the panel. <laughs> yep, exactly. And I, I know there are going to be loads of people there because um, I've been talking to people from, from other channels. Like, I think Nithya is probably going to be um, oh, at FOSDEM, anyways. So she's one we might be able to pull in because I know she's done some stuff around diversity and inclusion in general, maybe not metrics specifically. Um, but yeah, we should be able, we'll be able to find some people to pull in. I think that'll be yep. pretty straightforward. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and talk about the tutorial. Did you get the access now? Yeah, I do have access. I was just, uh, just scrolling down to find the abstract, which I just found. Yep. It's the exact same as we had, uh, the open source summit, which reminds me. Oh, can you send me a copy of yours? I'm going to move copy, myself uh, here. Uh, my formatting is not correct yet. Oh. So. Okay. Yeah, that's good. I will as soon as it's as soon as it's accurate. Yeah, that looks that looks good to me. For an abstract. Emma had some thoughts on editing it. So okay. good. We'll see what she comes up with. Okay. Perfect. And then audience. Uh, just a quick one sentence. Everyone. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah, I think that looks good too. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you. I'll create the issue in line with your issue. Then... Okay. Yeah, I created the issue partly just so that I could, it gave me something to, to link to and an easy way to tag the people who were involved. The only person I couldn't tag was Nicole. I don't think she's in the GitHub. Um, either not part of the organization or not part of the team. I'm not entirely convinced. Um, I, I haven't seen her do anything on GitHub, so I, I don't know what her handle is um, to even pull her in. So yeah, I don't know either. I could search on GitHub because I didn't actually get that far. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see her. She might have one of those one of those handles that I just couldn't find. <laughs> like geeky girl yes exactly um, <laughs> um i'll add that to the notes uh actually let's add action items Okay. Now, who else was supposed to, uh, let's see. 
um, Daniel was going to do the work session proposal. I'm going to copy that back up here as an action item. Yeah. Okay. Okay, issue is created. Now link to it. I also added my action item again because I didn't get to it to create the issues with Google Docs for the remaining metrics. Okay. Um, should we talk more about uh discourse or should we wait on that one till we have more people i vaguely saw that there was a thread but i didn't um didn't actually get a chance to so just to thoughts. yeah that's okay as an as a quick overview we've been talking about discourse for a long time a year and a half <laughs> um, we finally just set it up because we've been creating and deleting mailing lists because of our changing communication needs and would be so much easier to just have the discourse forum. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, I think if we had discourse two months ago, we would not have our GNI mailing list, which I think makes much more sense to just have one platform and then separate it out within that is very dynamic and responsive to what we need. Mm -hmm. So I, I strongly advocate for discourse but last week we had some discussion about whether or not to use it. And every time people are like, change, no. <laughs> yeah, so I, I mean, I was, I was kind of one of those because my, um, my concern, my concern is that we, uh, I don't want to fragment the conversation into too many places because then I can never find things and then I get frustrated. And I think other community members get frustrated. Um, but I don't actually care whether we use mailing lists or discourse, but I think we should all agree on which one to use. Um, yeah, I don't know. This is hard. These decisions are hard. I've been, I've been on both sides of these decisions. Um, you know, as somebody who's been responsible for, for communities for a really long time, mm -hmm. I've seen, I've seen this fragmentation, um, I've seen problems with the fragmentation before um, because then nobody knows, nobody knows what's going on. And then you have some people working in one and some people working in the other. And then those, those people don't really connect because you have mailing list people and you have foreign people. And there aren't a lot of us that don't really care which one we use. A lot of people are going to pick one and kind of stick to it. And I've also seen, I've also seen the mailing list fragmentation problem where we ended up with, um, I worked in one project where, Right before I started, somebody created like a million mailing lists mm -hmm. and then nobody knew which ones to join. 90% of them were never, ever used for anything, but people insisted that we need them for some specific reason and then never used them. Um, I don't know. It's, I guess I'm just saying this is hard. This is really hard. Yep. And we have seen that from the beginning. We created yep. five mailing lists, retired three of them. Yep. 
created more it, I yeah, main lists are just not as flexible. No, they're not. They're very much not very flexible. And I like discourse because it's visually more appealing. Mm -hmm. uh, it allows you to cross-reference, to link, to more easily search. It's just so much more usable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, we don't have to come to a conclusion here. I just put it on here because that's currently ongoing discussion. Yep. Sounds good. Um, anything else? You had put on here, discuss next categories to tackle. Um, yes. What I was thinking was that we have, we have a bunch of the categories, the focus areas that we haven't really, um, nobody's really worked on yet. And we have kind of templates for them. So I was going to see if people wanted to work on specific, specific ones. Um, this was, to be honest, more, more of a way to kind of encourage maybe more people to get involved and to start working on yeah. them. Um, so it's probably, probably a better discussion to put off until next week when we have more people, hopefully. hopefully. Yeah, I had an amazing interview Friday. I think it was Friday about uh, contribution types. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add that in. So I flag contribution type as the one that I've been working on. Oh, good. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I've thought about maybe doing some stuff around uh, the reputation or rec sorry, recognition um, just because I have some, have some thoughts about that. But um, I'm struggling a little bit because the metrics, the metrics are hard around recognition because they tend to yeah. be pretty fuzzy. And frankly, I'm actually opposed to using metrics um, for recognition from a, like from an automated standpoint, yeah. because what happens is you end up with, you just end up recognizing kind of the same people over and over and people start to game it. And I'd rather when I recognize people at, um, from an open source project, I try to do like, I look at all of the metrics and then I kind of pick things that are maybe different from what other people are doing. I don't know. So my approach to recognition might be a bit different. So I'm not sure how to fit it into the templates. So I've been kind of looking at it, but haven't really, haven't really gotten started on it in any meaningful way because it's kind of a hard one to tackle. Well, if the template doesn't work for you or, or this metric, then Maybe we have to abandon the template. <laughs> yeah. I, or we might have to, we might to change some of the categories. I'm, but I haven't, had, I haven't had enough time to really sit down and think about it. Um, to have decided for sure, which I think is whether I just haven't spent enough time thinking about it and the template's fine, or whether we need to do something a little bit different for this one, just because it's, it's an interesting one to tackle. But yep. And as with most writing and since you have a PhD, I'm sure you know this. <laughs> Once you put pen to paper, uh, things start to figure themselves out. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You just have to get started. My problem is I can't pick which one to start with. That's my, that's my problem. Well, that's, no, that's okay. Right. Thank you. It's, it's overcomable. I just haven't spent enough time to do it yet. Yep. Okay. Um, okay. Anything else? Otherwise, I have uh, one of our colleagues, uh, his master thesis defenses in five minutes. So let's go to that. Okay. Perfect. That sounds, that sounds good. And we'll, uh, hopefully we'll get a better quorum for next week. Yep. Which, which sounds email good. address did you invite <laughs> Daniel to this meeting with? His Baturgia one or his Gmail one? Ah, that's a good question. Um, Whichever one you picked, add the other one too, so that maybe maybe that'll increase the chances of it actually making its way onto his calendar. Okay. Did you get the invite now? I did, yes, and it fixed it. It's on my calendar for the correct time now, which is good. Perfect. Okay. Well... Have fun with uh, watching the master's thesis defense. Thank you. And I've I seen will... it now a couple of times because we <laughs> practiced. <laughs> yeah, but now you get to see what questions they ask, which is always interesting.
Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Cool. See I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Mm, talk tomorrow, yeah. Bye. <laughs> Bye.